action pose. Action pose. Well, Are you just I trying guess. to make yourself Otherwise, shorter? Yeah. <laughs> <'cause> it, yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is the Elusive Panda, Brian Kaler, and I'm here with models Holly and Kelly, yes. who you might remember from the Spooky Woods photo shoot. And today we're doing something wild and crazy because this is unfortunately our last shoot with Holly. So we decided to do an underwater pool shoot. We've never done this before and we don't know how it's going to go, but we'll, <laughs> we'll try it out. Follow along, I'm going to throw a GoPro in the pool and we'll just see what happens. This was more of a fun experiment than a shoot, which is good because every part of it was amazingly difficult. There's no communication or feedback underwater and the models have a very tough time positioning themselves. What looks like a clean pool to your eye is actually filled with dirt, it's cloudy, it's hard to see for the camera sensor, and the photos are very, very low contrast. A few times we actually had a very special guest jump in with us. The longer we were in the pool, the more we stirred up the dirt and leaves and other stuff floating around until it was finally impossible to keep going. You can see on the original images from the camera that there's very little contrast and not a whole lot of detail in the shadow areas. The cyan tint from the water is so overwhelming that it's actually more effective to take these images into a black and white or some type of single color scheme. If you do want more natural colors, then a custom white balance and desaturating some of the blues is the way to go. I asked her specifically to look for a red dress because red is the opposite of cyan and it really pops out against all of the cyan background. Finally, you should take tons of photos because there's no telling when the hair or the dress is going to float into that perfect configuration in the water. I didn't expect much out of this shoot since it was total chaos, but I kind of like the results and I think I'll probably try it again. If you're curious, my camera was a Sony RX100 Mark IV inside of a fantasy dive housing. Thanks for watching this episode of The Elusive Panda and be safe if you do your own underwater portrait shoot. <laughs>